alongside archives and special collections. To enter, please ring the bell, but do give me some time to get to the door. I may be upstairs or in the vault. Today, I'll swipe us in. Here we are in the reading room. This is where all the teaching sessions take place when we get material out of the vault lay it out on this table for you to look at. When you first arrive in Special Collections, you'll be asked to sign in on the register here. And then you'll be asked to take off your coat and bags and leave all your belongings in the locker room here. And we have a coat stand for you to put your wet coats on and lockers for your bags. In this room, we have the post-1801 material of the Radcliffe collection, but more about that later. Through this door is the vault where we keep all the rare books and manuscripts. Here we are in Liverpool Hope University's environmentally controlled vault. In here, the temperature is maintained at 16 to 19 degrees and humidity levels between 45 and 55%. That's the optimum range. Um, this is for uh, paper and uh, parchment. Um, so great for preserving archives, rare books, manuscripts, early print material. That's what we uh, generally house in here. Humidity is just as important as temperature in the preservation of rare books. As you can see, here we have um, a, a book that is bound in vellum, which is calf skin. And like your own skin, it requires a certain amount of um, moisture to keep it supple. Um, and this is an example of what can happen if it's, if it's allowed to dry out too much um, and over long periods of time it tends to uh, shrink and warp so then the, um, the book doesn't sit uh, nicely together as it should. At this end of the vault we have the Gradwell collection. This was entrusted to Liverpool Hope on the closure of St Joseph's College at Upholland and contains material covering the following subjects theology, philosophy, church, secular and local history, ecclesiastical history, art, architecture, sociology, education and works of general reference. It also includes recusant works and early printed books. For optimal space we have movable stacks so we can fit as much as possible into a short space. We have an ongoing programme of preservation um, in the form of archival boxing. So here we have um, some of our more damaged material, our very precious, fragile uh, material. That, so that includes manuscripts, early print. Here we have 16th century material and 17th century material from the Gradwell collection. Um, and they're archivally boxed, uh, made to measure um, with acid-free um, card. This prevents further deterioration when handling, so we also earmark the material that is most often used in our teaching sessions. Here is a perfect example of uh, an item that required boxing. This is Fox's Book of Martyrs, third edition, dated from 1576. And as you can see, it's lost its front and backboard. It has a um, temporary replacement, um, but the spine is completely concave as it's been battered over the years. You can see from that angle. If only books could talk. We also have the Talbot Library belonging to the Lancaster Diocese that was deposited with Liverpool Hope in 2014. We hold the rare books 
anything pre-1801 in the vault. And down here we have the Radcliffe collection. This collection belongs to the Anglican uh, Liverpool Cathedral. Um, as such, it's not uh, available on our library catalogue for searching, but there is a downloadable finding aid, um, the printed catalogue, that you can search. Named after its chief donor, Sir Frederick Radcliffe, the Radcliffe collection was primarily to be a liturgical library. Radcliffe aimed to buy exemplars of every book printed for liturgical use in England during the Tudor and Stuart reigns both Roman Catholic and Anglican, to be brought together alongside medieval manuscripts to document and observe the liturgical transition during this period. The collection houses missals dating from the pre-Reformation era, some 15th century European manuscript books of ours, 16th and 17th century Bibles and early commentaries, hymn books and ecclesiastical music, and a large number of early printed books, chiefly of liturgical and scholastic interest. Here we have a Catholic primer dating from 1555. It's original contemporary binding. Just put that down there. Let's have a closer look. So if we open it up here, Here's the title page, and helpfully somebody has written um, Mary next to uh, where it says Queen, so this is Queen Mary's Catholic primer. If we just turn back, um, we can see here the um, end papers, um, which would have formed, i move that uh, tipped in note, um, here you can see um, some manuscript, old manuscript, and also this is... Um, um, discarded paper. It was a pricey commodity so it would have been reused as printer's waste uh, to form the um, paste down to cover the uh, binding and the wooden board um, so that would have been glued. Um, and I've been informed that um, this text here is a Protestant text from the Book of Maccabees. So of course when Queen Mary came into power um, Protestant texts uh, were no longer of any use and were to be removed um, and here they are being reused as printer's waste. Here we have this beautiful 15th century uh, book of hours, beautifully illuminated, decorated all the way through. Your larger volumes, your folios, are stored flat. Um, the sheer weight of the books would cause too much stress on the binding if they were um, to be upright. Through this door we have the Andrew Wall Centre for the Study of African and Asian Christianity. Follow me. Up here we have the Andrew Wall Centre for the Study of African Asian Christianity. Uh, on my left here we have um, the catalogue books, um, everything with the yellow spine label, um, and on my right we have the catalogue periodicals, newsletters, uh, other ephemera, um, all quite unique material. Materials have been donated to the Andrew F. Wall Centre primarily by Professor Walls himself, the University of Edinburgh and the University of Aberdeen. The collection offers resources across a range of mission studies, its principal focus being Africa and the Asian Pacific region. Missions from the West have had a part in the African and Asian Christian story and this collection has substantial holdings on the history of mission and missionary activity in other parts of the world as well as on mission theology and practice, other faiths and the history of religions. The collection also includes many volumes on the historical, political, economic, social and religious background and context of African and Asian Christianity. The collection currently contains over 10,000 catalogued items including books, journals, reports and newsletters from organisations and churches and other ephemera. There are also a significant number of recent donations yet to be catalogued, which are available to browse on the open shelves. In addition, the Butler Collection was donated by the University of Edinburgh and sits alongside the Andrew F. Wall Centre material. 
The collection focuses on non-Western Christian art. Here we have um, a, a fairly vast collection of uh, pamphlets in the Andrew Wall Centre, um, many of which are in different African dialects, um, unique primary sources, um, as yet uncatalogued but available to browse on the shelves. Also we have some material um, in different Asian languages that um, I'm unable to catalogue, um, as you can see, because um, it's not using um, the alphabet as I know it. Um, and so I do get help from some of our um, international students um, to be able to catalogue this material. If we move into the space, we come up to the front where we have some um, space for studying um, with some wonderful views of the campus, especially this time of year with all the autumn colour. Here we have a PC dedicated to the library catalogue to be able to search for material in this collection. And if we go further down this way, you can see more books for the Andrew Wall Centre. And also the microfilm, microfiche reader and a dedicated PC for this equipment. These are the uh, filing cabinets where we store the microfiche and microfilm collections. We have the personal papers of Cardinal John Henry Newman archive on microfilm. We also have the Church Missionary Society archive again on microfilm and the Wesleyan Methodist Missionary Society archive. Uh, this, is on, this is on microfiche. Like. We've come to the end of the tour. If you'd like to know any more information about the collections and archives we hold here, check out our web pages and follow us on social media details on your screens. Thanks for watching.